that Jiggy has 70-something thousand followers on Twitter. The Secret Life of Jiggy. <laughs> Well, he looks absolutely tonight? stylish tonight as well. Ooh, she puts his best suit on and he's here ready to enjoy himself Excellent. and raise money for his fellow friend. Well, he's a very smart dog, probably one of the smartest dogs we've ever had. He's been on three reality shows this year, so he's on Dancing with the Stars. He's the first dog to be on the dance floor and he's on Vanderpump Rules and he's on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Just touch him up. How did you feel when mom and dad brought Harrison home? <laughs> what are your feelings about Harrison's fluffy coat? <laughs> are you tired of seeing younger, more attractive dogs come into the house and steal everyone's attention? That is absolute <laughs> nonsense, Con. Fight back, fight back, don't take that. What exactly do you like about Harrison, Jiggy? <laughs> Okay, Jig, I'm gonna pour, pour your Jigatini. Come have a drink with Daddy, come on. Good boy, good boy. Come on. You like it, really, come on. Your Jigatini? Come on now. Come on. Oh, good boy, yes. Good boy. That's enough now. That's enough. Hmm. Oh. I think I like yours better. This poor little thing. Okay, come on. In simple terms, Jiggy has alopecia, but it's not the alopecia so much that I'm worried about. It's the chronic itching. And I have spoken to every dermatologist and my vet, and we can't seem to understand what's causing it. So as you know, Jiggy has had alopecia, and he will be walking um, this weekend, actually, with the children with alopecia, the NAF, National Alopecia Areata Foundation. So um, because of his alopecia, which is chronic, he really doesn't have any for uh, anywhere except his head and his legs, a bit like me really. <laughs> um, and so he has an extensive wardrobe. This was, um, maybe you could find a still of this when he was the first dog on Dancing with the Stars and that's what they made him. Yes, you were on Dancing with the Stars. Yes, you were. I know. What's wrong with breastfeeding chicken? No. I, he loves it. No, stop <laughs> it. Don't be so judgmental. Yeah. Preach it, will you pick him up? I guess. Come I on. Guess. Yeah, so don't fart on me like Puppy? Oh, yeah. yeah. And he's um, got allergies, so he doesn't walk? Yeah, well, he doesn't want to. He just puts the brakes on, but he's fine. Really good. Oh, cheeky. He's gonna love that. Oh, he's gonna love Look that. Look at that. Oh. That's the cutest thing. He's got alopecia, that's why he wears clothes. He's a very special little dog, but as I say, I'm happy to carry him everywhere. He's, he's, he's Did it? Come on. And what kind it's of dog is it? Star. <laughs> He's the breakout star. And, and what kind of dog is it? <laughs> He's a teddy bear face Pomeranian. <laughs> and it's all 100% dog. Yeah. There's no hamster or anything. It's all completely dog, right? A little bit of a little bit of bear, I think. I think that's cuter than Paris's dog. Oh, of course. for the next housewife. Bye, guys. All right. Bye. So good night. Lovely little clothes. I give them biscuits, don't I, Jig? You know what he wants? He actually wants to drink water now. Jiggy wants another drinky. It's hard when they're doing talk shows all over LA, darling. I just look after them, love them, shower them with kisses, and only the best is good enough for them. And the only thing, tell us a little bit about his outfit. Well, his outfit, I mean, it doesn't cover his face. 
And theatre. I grew up in London, so, you know, I love going to theatre. And the only thing, tell us a little bit about his outfit. Well, his outfit, I mean, it doesn't cover his fat tummy, but he's in the, he's in the spirit of it. He's looking really good. He's a little battered, you know. He's a little news his dog. Okay, now Lisa's publicist actually confirmed that Jiggy is a service animal, which is why he was allowed to go to the table. And this is what our publicist said. All was good. Jiggy. I think he's the only dog with CAA, <laughs> shall we say. Also, he's been involved with the American Humane Association because Jiggy's afflicted with alopecia. He, for instance, last weekend, he went to spend time and joined a march with the children with alopecia. The fact that he's been such a successful dog when he was severely compromised, and really his message to the children is don't let it slow you down. And they just love him, they love him going to the event, so we try and support that as much as possible. <laughs> Jiggy has to wear clothes because he's got chronic alopecia, so he can't be without clothes if it's warm or cold because his skin gets burnt. But I mean, they've even been known to be the reason that we've had to take private air travel. It's like nobody puts baby in the corner. No, nobody puts puppies uh, in the hold, right, Jig? Jig? I don't really like to differentiate because they're all so special. However, I do feel very close to Jiggy because he's been with me since the inception, you know, of the Beverly Hills um, franchise and through some very stressful moments. I mean, like, he was the first dog on Dancing with the Stars. I mean, that ain't no mean feat. I mean, this guy has been everywhere. He's been with me when I've spoken at Congress. He's been with me when I've spoken at United Nations. He's been with me on many, many talk shows. And he's actually quite a huge comfort factor. I'm very, very connected to him. I mean, I think Ken feels the same. We love all Jiggy has alopecia. Yes. I have eight dogs. One dog wears clothes, and that's because he has chronic alopecia. And even now, he's got a bit of a runny nose because it was so cold yesterday. And he wears a coat over this in New York. So it's the only reason, you know. And, and a lot of dogs, they really feel the cold just because they've got a lot of these short little character. Because, as I say, his skin is not made to be out in the elements, you know? He's not like those Chinese crested. He's supposed to have yeah. fur. Jiggy uh, has alopecia, yes, which I does. always think is propecia, but it's not, it's different. No, that's, yeah. yeah, you take propecia. So, so in, we don't want Jiggy to be cold, so we made Jiggy oh, a little oh. bedazzled Anderson Live jacket. Um, so cute. <laughs> so. And I, I, I love the way that, you know, it's like a metrosexual man, and he's yeah. man enough to wear the pink. So yeah, exactly. I love that. I, it's also like got Muppet fur on it, yeah, which I, I always like see. Muppet. Do you want me to give Jiggy to Ken? 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 Yep. Can you come here a second? What's up? Listen to this email I just got from Jiggy's breeder. Look, she's offering me another dog. Here is a beautiful champion female, Serengeti Shara. She's two and a half years old, four pounds. Why don't you take this female? This is a wonderful female with no problems. I know the problems you're having with Jiggy. I also know you don't want to hear it, but he needs to be put down. What? The dog is in absolute misery. Both of you are. Think about it and get back to me. What I mean, are you talking about put down? You're going to read about it all in Jiggy's memoirs. Are you, are you <laughs>